Hi everyone, Caroline from Thought Farmer here. Happy New Year. I hope 2023 has started off well for you and for your team. Today, I'm going to walk you through our first release of the year, Thought Farmer 10.8. Now, most of you will remember that our releases in 2022 were focused mostly on the look and feel of Thought Farmer. And I'm gonna give a quick shout out here to our product team because Thought Farmer looks amazing right now. But for 10.8, we flip the script. This release puts function ahead of form. So in line with that, we're introducing three cool new updates. First, an all new integration with Microsoft Teams. Second, we're introducing two new channel options within our broadcast feature. And last but not least, and this one has me very excited, comment replies. So let's start with the Microsoft Teams integration. Much like your internet, we know that many of you consider Microsoft Teams to be a core communication tool. So we spent quite a bit of time researching what you would want from an integration between MS Teams and Thought Farmer. And through that research, we really learned two things. First, you wanted the ability to have updates from your internet automatically show up in MS Teams. And second, you wanted the ability to search your internet from within Teams and post the results instantly. And that is exactly what we're shipping in ThoughtFarmer 10.8. Now, examples are always the best way to explain new features, so let's do that. And let's start with the first use case, the ability to have updates on your internet show up in MS Teams. Let's say we want updates from the marketing news section of our internet to automatically show up in the marketing team channel in Microsoft Teams. All you need to do is navigate to the Microsoft Teams section of your Thought Farmer admin panel, and within the activity section, you can add a new activity message and complete the options in the dialog box. Once you're done, any content you add to the marketing news section of your internet will now magically show up in the marketing team channel in Teams. Now, the second use case was the ability to search your internet from within Teams. And in this case, all you need to do is choose the app within your Teams channel of choice, perform your search, and once you find what you're looking for, you press post. It's as simple as that. It really is quite straightforward, but as always, please feel free to reach out to your customer success manager if you have any questions at all. The second update within 10.8 is an enhancement to our broadcast feature where we have added two new channel options, Microsoft Teams and Slack. Now this enhancement works exactly as you would expect. Now, when you set up a new broadcast, you'll be presented with an option to include Slack or Teams as another way to distribute your message. You can also send your message to both Slack and Teams if you happen to use both at your organization. And while these new channels have their own section in the setup dialog, the only real difference between these and the original channels is how you choose your audience. So while the audience with the original channels was based on internet users, as you can see, the audience with these new channels is based on the users or teams within those channels themselves. Last but not least, comment replies. This update allows you to have a more conversational experience in Thought Farmer by allowing you to respond directly to messages, not just global threads. Underneath each comment in Thought Farmer, you'll now see an option to reply. And once you do hit reply, your message will show up in both the activity feed as well as in the thread. There are, of course, a few smaller updates in 10.8 release, including some bug fixes, but you can find all of those details in the release notes on our community site. And as always, please remember to subscribe to our monthly newsletter, which highlights our most exciting news and updates. That's all from us. Thank you and see you next time.